Hey, to transfer data from your old phone to your new Redmi 13, first of all, on the both smartphones, you will have to actually get this application. And on the Redmi, you will find that this application as default, it's called the Mi Mover. So let's open it on the Redmi 13. Now we have to accept everything. And next we have to move into the Pixel, I mean, into this our old smartphone. So open the Google Play Store, click on the search, and input this phrase me mover so as you can see i already got this application but i'm gonna uninstall it and show you step by step how we can actually set it up how we can accept all of these notifications and permissions so now open this application on your old smartphone and also accept every permission now select this alt accept all of these permissions so click allow all the time there we go. Now accept this floating windows. Then from this list, we have to select this Me Mover application. It appears just right here. Then just go back, go back. Now select tap, click continue. We have to grant another permission. So we have to scroll down again and select Me Mover application, accept this permit usage access, go back. Now select Alt, another permission that we have to accept. Go back, do this again. And another one, we have to tap actually a lot of times, but now finally we did it. So on the Redmi 13, select new device. Select the old device model. So in my case, this is not Xiaomi. This is actually the Android phone, the Google. So I have to click this one. Allow, click for all of these notifications. And as you can see, now we have to scan the QR code to install MeMover on the old device, but we just did it. So we have to click installed. Then uh, we just have to wait for the devices. They, they have to actually find each other. If it doesn't work, I can show you how we can do this manually. But as you can see, after a few moments, we can find our Redmi smartphone. But if it doesn't work for some reason and your old smartphone cannot find your new Redmi 13, just select connect to the new device manually. But now just click on the Redmi. Now wait for the connecting of the both devices. And as you can see now, you can actually accept everything from this old smartphone, your images, messages, contacts, call history, audio, video, documents, and third-party apps. But in my case, it's only short video when I'm showing you how to do this quickly. So I'm going to unselect all of this stuff. And I want to only send maybe some, maybe some audio files. So I'm going to select only audio files. And now I'm going to tap send. Now, as you can see, I have to click here on the dots, click send again. And now we get this transferring process. So all we have to do right now is just to wait a little bit. It will take probably around a few moments until it will be completely transferred. As you can see now, it looks like it's finished. So what we have to do is just to click done. And now all of this data is still available on your old smartphone. So it's not like moved, it's just copy data. It's not moving data. And then click done. And now if you actually search for these files, you can go, for example, into the file manager, which will be available probably somewhere here. And then click agree. And as you can see here, I can find my send items. It's just right here. I can go for the storage also. Okay, that's some kind of the badu, but I'm gonna actually skip this. And we were sending some uh, music, right? So we can go for the download. And here it is. This is actually my stuff here. So as you can see, that's how it looks. So right now, please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one.